Some big changes coming for Disneyland annual passport members. CBS2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler shows us what it all means. I just can't get enough. Beverly Griggs loves Disneyland so much, she moved from Chicago to a condo across the street so she could walk to the park. She pays over $1,100 a year for the best annual pass, the Signature Plus, and she's seen big changes for hundreds of thousands of annual pass holders. Now, for example, the deluxe pass in the Disneyland park. This is June of 2018. You can get into Disneyland every day but Saturdays. If you scroll down to June of 2019, look what happens. You can't get in on Fridays. You can't get in on Saturdays. You can't get in on any Sunday except for the first Sunday of the month. And the entire last week of June is blocked out. But on the California Adventure side of the park, this June, Saturday is the only day you can't get in. But next year at this time? you're going to be able to access that park every single day. Annual pass holders are convinced this is all because of Star Wars. What they're trying to do is redirect that traffic because there's going to be people coming from every possible nook and cranny in this, in, in, on this planet to visit Star Wars Land. In a statement issued today, Disneyland said, as our business evolves, this is the first step in reshaping our annual pass program, which will better manage the guest experience and allow all Disneyland Resort visitors to have a great visit, particularly as we look forward to the opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in summer 2019. The Select Pass and the Deluxe Pass are going to be the most impacted by these changes, but Disneyland says you can always upgrade. In Anaheim, Stacy Butler, CBS2 News.